<laughs> hey, yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy Quality, and I'm back with another YouTube video. You know the vibe. Stop playing with me. The last video I posted, someone was like, Hey, you sound like you just woke up out of bed, and then you started recording right after. So I'm like, All right, bet. Next video, I'm going straight into it. I'm trying to calm down. I'm very excited, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, the point is, I have a video that I decided to do like very recently because it has to do with my hair as you can see I look like a very very cave I look very caveman like right now not like the ugliest caveman because we all know <laughs> I'm handsome you know <laughs> I have something that's going to fix my whole caveman situation so um Y'all better like it because I spent over $10,000 on what I'm about to show you real quick. Or, baby yet, like the video, press like, comment on it, you know. Let me know I didn't waste my time. Tell me, you know, was the video good or not, you know. It's a huge investment and I'm looking at it 10 years in the future. Hopefully, whatever it is can last that long, you know. I just look at it like that. So, without further ado, let's start the video. If so I basically bought myself some brand new shares as you can see it comes with uh, an adjustable and a, out, a T liner T outliner uh, this is what cost over ten thousand dollars and I'm honestly not disappointed as yet due to all of the reviews that I've been watching online I'm very impressed with what I've seen so far and they seem like a very sturdy mm, affordable well built clipper just by the look of it the packaging and all of the reviews so far so this product is by a company called Lemoral uh, I think that's how it's pronounced Lemoral one of them I'm not sure anyway it's basically hair clipper kit it says dominant grooming for men high performance clipper alright let's get into it Oh, so excited. I've been waiting on these for at least, at least two weeks straight. And all I could do was think about it. So it comes with a comb. This is my first time seeing everything, by the way. This comes with a comb, a regular small teeth to big teeth comb. Uh, comes with a cape, a regular standard cape. We got the get your one year warranty for free now lemoral handbook or the kit basically tells you everything about the product basically and then you have the charger chargers oil standard oil for the it already feels greasy somehow uh, i don't know do 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 all like bottles of grease come already greased greasy like the bottle feels greasy then you have uh, you got your regular shears for the T outliner you have mm, two millimeter this is a one size this is a two three I'm guessing already that they don't really come with half clips from what I've seen in the in the videos you got a one clip two so basically it's the same thing they don't come in half clips kind of disappointed in that part the sheer Ugh. oh wow 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 in hand it's very sturdy it feels very it feels well built like our first like holding it for the first time it feels very Ooh, smooth okay it's very it's it comes across as a little stiff the lever it comes across stiff so I'm guessing there's no like I won't accidentally shift it to like open or close whenever my finger brushes against it so that's really good I like that I like that it's supposed to be all metal with a plastic interior what's it say it says Peel the tape and take off the productive cover before switching it on. 
All right, bet, bet, I got you. So it says right on the front, I'm trying to get that in the camera. It says, Lemorel Professional Hair Clipper. Oh, you can kind of see me in it. Hold up, hold up, see if you can see me. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's very, very well built. Comes with a standard port, you know, for your charging. I believe you can use any one of the chargers to charge. So I'll figure that out after. Uh, it feels so well built. I'm going to take the, take the cover off. Ooh wee! Look at it. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. That's amazing. I love this. I love this man. It's already starting to feel like a really good purchase so far. Ah. Uh, Alright, let's look at the uh, uh, let's look at the last one. Ah, uh, this is the T Outliner. It feels sturdy as well. It feels very sturdy. Just like the shear itself. That looks cool. That looks really cool. That looks very cool. Love that. It feels well built just like the shear itself. It comes with an indicator on it to show you when it's on or charging. I love this. It's well built. Stainless steel maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the material is but it feels so good in hand. Let's turn it on. So I feel like I want to make myself very clear these clippers in my country just the share alone will cost like ten thousand dollars and then the goddamn T outliner just the other day I went into a store and I saw a Andy's T outliner going for ten thousand dollars so collectively I believe if I was supposed to buy anything out here it would have been roughly twenty thousand dollars so I decided to go online instead to buy something that I felt like was gonna last me a lot longer, is stronger, well built, seemed affordable, or it could basically do the same job as the. So on Amazon, it cost about sixty-five to sixty-nine dollars. It ran me about ten thousand dollars, and I basically got uh, a shear, the T outliner, and a bunch of other stuff at like the Cape charger. The, the sheer protectors, sheer guards, my bad. I believe that it really comes down to personal preference and what you want, but I felt like this was the best thing for me. And I believe I'm gonna use it on myself for the first time ever and give myself a haircut. I'm gonna try my best to do a good job when it comes to giving myself a haircut. This is gonna be my first time ever. So I'm kinda excited. Oh. So overall, I'm really impressed and so far I'm very happy with the purchase. So hopefully I can give myself a good haircut because I ain't going back to another barber for a very long time if you ask me. So 
Let's get to the haircut. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like currently. I've gotten it down to the, the length I'd like. Uh, this is what I like. When it grows out a little bit, it's just at the right length that I love. Like, you know, if you can like still hold on to it, that's what I like. Oh my god, look at all my. Uh. Well, right now, I'm about to call some of my friends to see the reactions to my hair being cut. Let's see if they will pick up. I look like a cute potato. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Change the vibe, but you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> kind of look like a burnt chicken nugget, to be honest. Yeah, I concur. <laughs> <laughs> Going to line yourself up. I remember when I tried lining myself up. Of course, do. Fuck my whole head up. <laughs> Put my hairline so far back it was in the pan. <laughs> Alright, so this is what it looks like right now after I somewhat completed it. It's to kind of look a little rough, but that can be fixed because I still have enough like space right here. It's just a little hard to like get my hand to be in the right place where I need it when I'm because I have to like have my head turned a certain way. Okay, okay, I'll see you. I'll see you. You see it. You see it. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks somewhat decent. That was. <laughs> as much as I would love to keep going over it and over it like a psychopath, maniac uh, in myself, I'm just not going to do that because I will ruin my hair. I'm just going to try my best to do a little bit. And if it looks good enough or decent, I'm going to just keep it. Because if I don't keep it, my hair is going to be messed up and y'all don't want to see that, right? No. Okay. Hey, yo, what's good, guys? Uh, this is basically... So it's basically the next day. I finished the haircut. I completed the haircut is what I should say. And this is the big reveal. You pay your hair? Yeah, I, yeah. Let's go! Oh my god! Wow! Where the fade at? I fade I would have fade. Are you afraid? No, I'm not afraid. I, so I decided to just give myself a, a low cut today. Don't really fade anything because I don't have half shears. I only have hold shears. So hold shear guards. I don't have half shear guards. If I had like a 0 0.5 and a 1.5, I could probably give myself a seamless transition, but I can't. So I just went the safe route, you know, and I like having my hair low like this. So it was very good. Nothing too crazy. Pretty nice. Oh, my brother helped me with that one. Oh, I was like, this nigga different. Bro, as soon as I got the mirror to turn the back of my head, I was like, Yeah, I was like, there's no Nah, it's crazy. I'm going to learn though. I'm going to learn though. I'm gonna definitely learn. I just need to get better mirrors that can give me a 360 view of my head back. 